Uh, we're not going to use a calculator on all of them to start with. All right. What's the matter? Do you do a favor? And again, if you don't have your calculator, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's really not. All right. Well, let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the first uh, six problems here. Um, well, I don't even think I need to grab them. I think I have enough work here. All right. And we have done this before earlier when I was showing you how to do the calculator. So this should be pretty easy. But we're going to review. Okay. This, again, is called a complex fraction. Now, the only thing I wish they would do is I, I, I wish they would make this line a little bit darker. So you can see that it is 18. That means, can somebody tell me what that actually means? What does that mean, Mr. Dan? Yes, here we go. So look, guys, I want everybody to write this down. I want everybody to write for number one. You don't have to write it as the complex fraction. All right, I would like everybody to write that as 18 divided by 3 fourths. Now, we're not going to use a calculator on this. All right, this moment. We're not using a calculator right now. Uh, because some of you guys I asked to add subtract fractions and you kind of didn't, you kind of forgot. So that's why we're reinforcing this. Fractions super important. So how do I divide fractions? Remember. Uh, yes. Change division to what? And then you take the reciprocal. That's how I'd like you to say, not flip. All right. We're going to take the reciprocal. All right, so in this case, you're going to rewrite it as 18 times what? Four thirds, right? Now, generally, we do the division first. So listen to me. What is 18 divided by 3? 6. And then multiply by 4. Yeah, so that's just 24, guys. Come on, that's not that hard. That's not that hard. Thank you, man. All right. So now let's take a look at number two. All right, Mr. Strickland, what does that say? Um, I don't take so long for you to do that. Like everybody else is writing and working, and you're getting up now, getting your pencil. And sharpening it. That should be done a long time ago. You're not a baby anymore. You hear me? Get it done. All right. So, Mr. Strickland, what do I do with this? Wait, no, no, no. You make it times. Right. Multiply by what? Yeah, that's right. This is 4 over 1. So when I do the reciprocal, that becomes... Yeah, come on now. All right, I'm asking everybody to make sure. That's why we're doing it uh, by hand first. All right, make sure you remember that, right, Mr. Danzi? All these fractions you got to remember. All right, so what can I reduce here? Tell me, Mr. Green. What numbers can be reduced? Can I see it? What numbers can be reduced? Yeah, the first fraction, 3 over 6. What does that reduce to? Yes, it does. Thank you. So this is the same as 1 half. All right. So now, Mr. Strickland, what is 1 half times 1 fourth? That would be 1 eighth. You see, it's not necessary. All right, we don't, we don't need a uh, calculator for that. Welcome. Let's go hustle up, buddy. Finish your paper out. All right. Join us so you're not behind. All right, Alden, you get to help me with number three, buddy. So what am I doing? Good job. One third divided by one fourth. So tell me what that is, please. Right. Beautiful. Yes, that's all you have to do, four thirds. That's it. All right, that's all there is to it. Awesome, let me know if you have a question. Okay. Now again, you can change the one one third, but it's not necessary. All right, yes, sir. Can I just start off with one third first? Uh, well, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm happy with you. Right? I, but again, remember, sometimes kids take shortcuts, 
and you know there's a lot riding on this test. All right, so make sure you know. It. All right, make sure you know. It. I really don't mind. All right, I really don't. All right, I don't like. I don't like to waste time either. All right, so let's have Ryan. You tell me about number four. So what would that be? Okay, so now we can change that to what? Beautiful. Can anything reduce? No. So your answer is? 5 over 5 over 9. Beautiful. That's it. 5 over 9. Ready? You tell me about number 5, please. Eleven. Now that's what I'm saying. Is it eleven over one or eleven divided by one half? Yeah, I think it's eleven divided by one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this line a little bit longer, right? So you can see it, right? So that's the same as eleven divided by one half, which is the same as yes, eleven times two over one, which is the same as that's it. You're right, twenty-two. You can say 22 over 1, but it's not necessary. Are we okay with that? Everybody good? William, how are you doing? All right, let me hear you do number 6, but I appreciate your patience today. All right, so what am I doing on this, William? What does that say? Now remember, keep in mind, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little longer for us. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm trying to do it this way. You know what I mean? Hold on one second. I mean... I want, to, I want to make this a little bit thicker so we know exactly what it is. There we go. All right, now tell me what's up. That's exactly right. Good. Exactly. Now, can I reduce anything? Yes. What can I reduce? Good. Yay. Okay, I'm happy with you on that. Two sevens. Very good. Very, very good. All right, now I get into the hard stuff. All right, now I get into the hard stuff. But is the hard stuff really hard? No. No, it's super simple. But you got to listen to my explanations now. So I can make it all super easy for you. All right. Yes. Yeah, we, we did it when we talked about fractions and stuff. Right. Okay. Good observation. All right. Now over here. Now, again, everybody's got to look up now, because again, I think the word problems are hard if you don't know what you're looking for. All right. So I want everybody to pay attention to the words, and I'm going to show you exactly what that means. All right. It says, Monica reads seven and a half pages of mystery book in nine minutes. What's her average reading rate in what? Pages per minute. Pages per minute means to do what with the pages and what with the minutes. What do I do with the pages and what do I do with the minutes? Yes, listen to what I'm saying now. That's the key. Oscar, are you with me on this? Or a lot of kids have trouble with this, and I, I don't understand because it comes from the reading. If you understand pages per minute, that means pages. Let me write this out just to make sure you guys are hearing me. Pages per minute. That tells you what to do. And some kids never make that connection. So now please pay attention to what I just said. It says here, pages per minute. Per is your division symbol. That's what that means. Kind of like of meant what? Multiply. Per means to do what? Divide. Oscar, what? I couldn't have said it better myself. Per means divide. Of means multiply. So now you're just reading it. Because you know that, it's going to be 7 and 1 half divided by 9. We're still not using a calculator. Still not using a calculator. Seven one half converts to what 
improper fraction. Austin. Thank you, sir. 15 over 2. Division becomes what? Multiplication. 9 becomes 1 9th. Beautiful, guys. Just like this. Now, what can reduce? Tell me. And that 15 becomes a 5, and the 9 becomes a 3. Final answer. 5 over 6. That means I can read 5 sixths of a what? Page every what? Every minute. Come on, guys. I want it written just like that. 5 sixths of a page every minute. I don't care if you got five six of a page per minute. The words have to be there. But again, you know what I'm saying. I always tell kids, look, I've done it so much. I have a lot of experience. I want to give you my experience, right? So if you do it my way, I promise you I'm not leading you in the wrong direction. All right? Always steering you to the right direction. The easiest, quickest way. That's why when Hunter said, do I have to write it out or can I just do it? Uh, yeah, of course. I, I prefer that you just pay attention and you take a, not a shortcut, but you don't have to write the original problem down. Write the problem. Sometimes I'm fussy about it, but right now this is our second time we've seen it. So you should be a little better at it. So write the first fraction, change the multiplication, and then do the reciprocal. And then you can reduce it. All right? Now, all right. So here we go. Four, question number eight. Read for me. Patrick said, she and his mom are actually dead. The six siblings are dead. She says, she is dead. Miles per hour. What does that mean to do? Shh, no one tell her. What by what? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, come on. Divide miles by hours. That's how simple these problems are. I never understood why kids had trouble with these. Miles per hour. Take the miles and divide it by the hours. That's what that means. The miles divided by the hours. So how many miles did we go? 220 divided by... Yes, divided by 4 and 2 fifths. Now take your calculator out. I'm going to be fine with you doing this on the calculator. This one problem. 220 divided by 4 and 2 fifths. And I want to make sure you can do it. Shh, hold on a minute. 50. All right. Now, the thing I'm upset about is if you don't give me the units. I'm upset if you don't give me the units. So this would be, I'm going to let her answer, 50. Yes. 50 miles per hour. And again, what does 50 miles per hour mean? Can you tell me? Well, no, no. What is what does? And I know some kids. It is not easy. All right, so I'm not. I'm. I'm asking you. If what does it mean when someone says I'm traveling 50 miles per hour? What does that mean? I want you to try to tell me. That's. It will take them. An hour to go 50 miles. There you go. That's what that means. 50 miles per hour. That means if you travel 50 miles, it will take you exactly what? One hour. Or if you travel for one hour, you will go what? 50 miles. That's what that means, guys. I don't think that's that hard. Everybody agree? All right. So far, so good. All right. Now, here we go. All right. We've talked percentages, fifth grade and sixth grade. So as someone to review me, what does a percent mean? Nope. Say it again. Out of 100. Percent means, per means what again? No. Divide by what? 100. So if somebody says 10%, that means 10 out of what? A hundred. If somebody says twenty-five percent, that means what? Yeah, you're making me nervous. Twenty-five out of a hundred. So if I said one hundred and seventy-five percent, that would be what? One hundred and seventy-five out of a hundred. All right. That's all that means. All right. So this six and two-thirds percent 
means what? Six and two thirds divided by a hundred. Six and two thirds divided by a hundred. All right? That's what that means. Six and two thirds divided by a hundred. So now I want everybody to take their handy dandy calculator. All right? And let's do six and two thirds divided by a hundred. Is everybody okay with that being 115? Everybody happy with that? That wasn't bad, right? Yes, sir. What, what, a one percent? No, it's not. It's a what? Fraction. So the directions say write each percent as a what? Fraction symbol. Now you understand me, right? Mm -hmm. Say a we could write it as a decimal also, and that's coming up in the next chapter. All right? So I want someone to tell me about 7.5%. 7.5% is equivalent to what? Fraction. Say it again. Is that right? Don't take his word for it. Is he correct? Yeah. All right, lucky. Three fortieths. All right, I'm happy with that. Yara is up. She is telling me what uh, ten and a half percent is the same as. Shh, don't help her. Twenty-one over two hundred. Does anybody agree with that? Twenty-one over two hundred. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. All right. So who else has it? spoken? CC, you're up. Tell me about fifteen and one third percent. Twenty-three over what? Like this, twenty-three over one fifty. All right, is everybody happy with that? Anybody have any questions? All right, now before I send you on your way, and before I say okay, I, I don't mind if you use a calculator. Here's what I want everybody to do. I want everybody to write down fifteen and one third over what? One hundred. Everybody's got to write that down, please. Now we're gonna do it by hand first. All right, we're gonna do it by hand. So put your calculators down. We already know the answer is 23 over 150. But getting that might be a little bit tricky. All right, so Oscar, tell me what I can do first. That is correct. What does that become, Oscar? No, let Oscar do it. Thank you, Oscar. 46 over 3 divided by 100. Beautiful. Now what do I do? Everybody's doing this problem now. If you want to use your calculator tonight, do this problem right now. I want to make sure you know how to do it because I don't want any excuses. Well, wait a minute. I have 46 thirds divided by 100, so I want you to tell me what, to, what do I do. Like I've been doing all class period. Good. You did 46 thirds divided by 100, which is the same as 46 thirds times 1 over 100. That's kind of what I want him to say. He's got a little technique where you can divide a couple at the same time. I prefer that you not do that right now. But if you're okay with that, I don't care. But this is how you should be seen. All right. Does anybody have any questions with that so far? Now I can reduce the 46 and the 100 by what? Three. 2. So when I do that, this becomes a what? 23. And this becomes a 50. And then? Is? Yes, because 23 times 1. All right, is that, how, is that what we got for an answer now? Yes. Now, does everybody understand how you have to understand fractions in order to be good with this? Is everybody good with this? Anybody have any questions? Right, is everybody pretty happy? Everybody knows? You know? Mm -hmm. Mr. Strickland in the back, you know what you're doing? Whatever, you know what you're doing, right? Girls up front, you all know what you're doing? All right, so now, 
um, again, all right, let's finish up, guys. I, I believe you can get to the end, all right? Now, after you do all 34 problems, all right, some of them should be done without a calculator because it's just easy numbers, all right? But then what are you supposed to do to your answers? Check. Please check your answers, guys. And I like what some of you are doing right now. You're opening up the page to the solution, so as you're going, you can tell if you did it correct. All right, that's the way it should be done. All right? Anybody have any questions with that? All right, really, guys, that was a good job today. Very good job.